Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing on with our Unreal Engine 4 FPS. What we're going to be doing in today's video is actually setting up a custom character for our game, setting up the blend space and hopefully importing all the animations and getting everything we need to get this character ready and moving in our game. So if you take a quick look at my scene here you can see I've got the character that we're going to be using for the game. It looks like he's holding a rifle but he's not actually holding a rifle, we'll be putting a rifle in his hand later on but don't worry about that too much for now but the bit that we're going to be focusing on in today's video is setting up the animations and getting the blend space set up so what this blend space is is it's essentially telling the engine what direction and what animations to use when the player is going what speed and what direction now one thing I do advise you do go ahead and do before we start this tutorial is go ahead and download all of the assets from my website inside of those assets is you've got this little diagram that I've created here showing you which animations should go where. We'll go back to that later on in the video but make sure you do have that. So once you have downloaded all the assets that you need from my website I'm going to quickly show you where you can get them. All you got to do is go over to my website which is vertushub.co.uk and then just go to resources and then we've got the first person project file uh, files in here. Within that we've got this folder named character. This character has got a bunch of different animations, it's got a mesh and it's got some textures and stuff as well. So what we're going to do now quickly is go over the process of importing all of this stuff into our engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get rid of all the stuff that I've done already and then we're going to open up the engine again and I will be back to where you guys are. Okay, so we're inside of the engine again and we're all ready to start importing these animations. So first things first, like I said, open up that folder and then go into your content browser as well and what we're going to do is create a new folder inside of here called character. Making this new folder is really simple, just go to add new and then just add the folder and then once you've done that jump into character and then from here with our little assets that we downloaded earlier open up the mesh folder and then you're after this little swap mesh here it's the um, object file just go ahead and drag that in there to import it just click drag and drop and then once we're in there what we're going to do is go into this little interface that we've got it should open up straight away now we're going to leave all of these settings at default if you have got settings that have changed differently to mine it may not work so just go ahead and check those with me skeleton should be zero we haven't got one in there already importing this mesh is actually going to import the skeletal mesh so we don't need to worry about that um, and then all of these should be the same as well and then import materials you don't have to do if you don't want to I'm just going to leave it on sometimes it does import the materials based on the location and stuff um, which can save us a little bit of time setting up the material for the character um, but give that a second to import and then we'll move on to the animations okay so you can see that it's now imported the character for me and it's also imported the materials which is great so now if I go ahead and go into my content browser down at the bottom I've got this SWAT underscore skeletal mesh which is exactly what I wanted and this is the character that we're going to be using throughout the series so you can see we've got him in here and then we can animate well not animate but we can move some of the bones the arms the legs the head and everything just make sure that these do rotate freely when you try to do it that way we know when we have animations later on it's not going to break or anything like that so Moving on, let's get the animations in here next. So the next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back to my character folder, go to animation, and then all I'm going to do is simply press Control A to select all of these. And then I'm just going to create another new folder inside of here. And I'm just going to call this animations. And the reason why I'm making this folder is because there's just so many of these animations. It's just going to keep it nice and clear, easier to use. Just simply drag and drop and then you'll get this little window for FBX import options again. Set the skeleton to SWAT underscore skeleton, which is the one that we created earlier. So go ahead and click that and then just go ahead and press import all. Give it a couple of seconds to load them all up and get them into the engine and then once we've done that all we're going to do is open, a open up a couple of these and make sure they're running smoothly, there's no distortions in the character and all of that good stuff. Now I have checked all these animations myself um, and like you saw earlier on in the video it all works so you shouldn't have any issues. If you do have any issues however feel free to just leave a comment in the description, not in the description, just leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will try and check those for you. So it's almost done here and then we can check these animations. So let's just try something, one of the more complicated ones like death from front, that's all good, death from front headshot, 
death from the back, idle animation. This is what the character's gonna be looking like when he's not moving about. We've got jump down, we've got jump loop jump back, uh, run forwards, backwards, and all that good stuff. Make sure you've got all of your animations in this right-hand corner here. So, next step, now that we've got the character in, the animations in, the materials in, we need to set up something called a animation blueprint and also an animation blend space as well. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my character folder and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna go to animation and then I'm going to add a blueprint animation and then I'm going to make sure the SWAT skeleton is used as the skeleton. Press OK and then all I'm going to do is name this SWAT underscore anim BP. Once I've done that, go ahead and open this up and we've got to do a few things. So first things first, we get introduced to this final animation pose screen. Um, all this is allowing us to do is just go ahead and drag an animation in there. Now the only trouble with this is it only lets us drag in one animation at a time. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I go ahead and compile this now, you can see it's just going to sit here and it's going to keep playing the idle animation and you can't do much else. If I plug the death from right in, you can see it disconnects it and if I compile, it's just going to keep playing this animation over and over and over again. It's not what we want. So the way that we can get around this is by actually creating something called a state machine. This state machine is pretty much going to give us a little bit of option to add some blueprints in and set some conditioning up telling the engine what animation to play when, where and all of that good stuff. So create this new state machine, just right click and type in state machine and then just add a new state machine and then we're simply going to rename this and we're just going to call this walk uh, walk underscore run and then once we've done that just drag this into the final animation pose and then hit compile and it should go back into this t pose that you can see here now it's in this t pose because we don't have any animations inside of here or any states so let's go ahead and set this up just double click it to get into it and you can see now inside of our blueprints we've gone all the way from our final animation stuff to the state machine and inside of here as we keep creating more states, it's going to add more of these little sections. So if you ever need to get back, just use these little things at the top and you will be able to do that. So there is two different states that we need for now. So the first one is simply going to be idle and that's just going to be doing the idle animation, just sitting there when the player is not moving. And then the second one is also going to be walk and run. So we'll set that up in a second. So call this first one idle and then drag out and create another one. And this is going to be another state and then just name it walk underscore run and now what you can see that we're doing here is we've got these different states and these little arrows indicate whether or not they can go from one to another so at the moment we've got entry and that can go into idle and that can also go to run as well but we also want them to be able to stop running and go back to the idle so what we need to do is drag walk and run all the way back to idle just like that now that's all good Let's move into setting up this idle animation. Just double click on idle and then from here simply drag in your idle aiming. There's only going to be the one idle animation for now. I'm going to drag that in, hit compile and now you can see by default it's actually going to sit here and play the idle animation and that is exactly what we want it to do for now. The more complicated bit is when we actually tell it to walk and run and that's going to be determined by speed. And all of that is going to be set up with a little bit of script in these little can do transition bits here, which we're going to be doing later on. So before we can walk and run, we need to set up a blend space to tell the character which direction they should be walking and also which speed the animations should be running in as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So go into your content browser right click go to animation and then create an animation blend space and then just make sure you're using the SWAT underscore skeleton character and then just call this walk run underscore BS not bullshit um, blend space inside of here we've got a few things we need to do now we've got our little viewport here so we can preview the animations that we're working with and we've also got this little graph as well which we can use to preview um, the direction and stuff of the character now as of right now our grid has just got none and none there's no values to it and what we need to be doing is using this little um, grid to determine the speed and the direction of the player and then set up the animations with that. So what I'm going to do is in the top left hand corner we've got our axis settings. 
we've got horizontal axis and vertical axis. So what I'm going to do is set the first one for horizontal to direction and this is going to control the direction of the player and then the vertical axis is going to be the speed. So just type that in speed and that is all good. Now make sure all of your settings are exactly the same as mine which are pretty much default. For the vertical, the speed, the player is going to be going between 0 and 600 for now. The reason why we're using the value 600 is because that is the maximum character movement speed that is de uh, determined by the character movement stuff inside of Blueprints already. So I'm going to simply drop in 600 and then over here for the horizontal axis, our direction is going to be minus 180 by 180 just like that and you can see our little preview thing is moving along this. So if you look at our grid now we've got direction at the bottom going from minus 180 to 180 and then for speed we've going all the way up to 600 all the way down to zero which is exactly what we're after and all we need to do now is actually pretty much just plot our animations on here um, for the right direction and speed. So our direction is left and right and then we've got speed which is up and down once again, the easiest way to do it is just use this little graph that I've got here. Just follow along with this and it will make things a lot easier. So I'm going to quickly commentate me adding in these animations so you know what I'm doing anyway. So let's start off with the first one, which is going to be our walk, uh, walk in place. So we've got to find this in the right hand corner here. And the one that we're after is walk forwards in place. Drop that slap bam in the middle there and you can see he starts to walk. And that's, you know, it's starting to come to life. So... The reason why we put this straight in the middle is because that is sort of our medium speed. It's just walking and then on top of that, at full speed, we're going to have him running instead of walking. So let's do that. So go all the way up to the top, find our run ones and it's run forward in place just above that. So next, what I'm going to do is also add in my walk backwards. So find your walk backwards over here and it's going to be the just forward ones in place at the moment. So walk backwards in place and I'm going to drop this to the left and to the right as well. And then in between this, what I'm also going to do now is set up my walking left and right. Um, and that's just going to be going on this line again because all of this is just going to be walking. So what I'm going to do is find walk forwards left in place. Sorry, walk left in place. So drop this in. And then for right on the other side here, and that's all good. If we go ahead and start previewing this, we'll see we get a little bit of direction to our character movement. So hold down shift to preview it, click, and then as we go from the middle, you can see he starts heading that way, and he starts heading this way now as well, which is quite nice. And if we head all the way up to the top, you're going to see he starts to sprint, and that is great. So let's add in a couple more. There's not too many more that we need to work with now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up, start up by adding in a run backwards in place. These are going to be above our walk backwards. So just pretty much directly in front of those on top of them. Sorry. So I'm going to go to run backwards in place. I'm going to add that in the top right and also in the top left as well. And then also what we're going to be doing is adding in our run left and run right. So adding these just above what we've got already to into here and then right in here as well. And now if we press shift, you can see as we're walking right here and then move up, it gets faster and it should be the same. All these animations should be matching and really, really fade into each other, which is quite nice. So that's all the animations in here that we need to do. Um, the bottom ones we're just going to have as our idle animation. Um, the reason why we're having those at idle is because that is all going to be at speed zero. They're not going to be moving. So what I'm going to do is grab my idle aiming and then I'm just going to drag these into these bottom four spots here. So idle aiming, idle aiming, and there should be five of these all together. There we go. And if we press shift now and drop down to zero, you can see it's not moving. It's just sitting there and it's idling. And as I move it off, it is going to start moving our character about, which is exactly what I want it to do. So if you do guys, if you do get, uh, sorry, if you guys do have some issues following this along, like I said, just go ahead and check out this little diagram that I've made here. That will tell you exactly which animations to put in where. 
And that is pretty much everything for our character that I wanted to focus focus in on today's video. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be focusing a bit more on setting up the animation blueprints, um, fixing those up and getting up the speed and the direction values, and hooking that up to our third person character to get it all moving. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description. 